Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ashley. Today I'm sharing with you two products from a brand called Peppy Co. First product is going to be their Peppy Co Light Therapy LED Mask. I've seen these all over like Instagram and YouTube. Basically it is light therapy at home, which is amazing. And they also kindly, ooh, where is it? And they also very kindly sent me over their all-in-one sleeping mask as well. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the LED light therapy mask as well as the overnight sleeping mask. I'm going to take all my makeup off. I'm going to come back and we're going to test them both out. The LED light mask, obviously I'm going to need like more than just one session to be able to notice any differences. So I'm going to film kind of one session today. I can give you kind of more of a thorough review on the whole experience in wearing it and things like that. So if that all sounds great, it really does help me out as a small channel. If you give this video a like, subscribe if you like what you see and let's get going. Okay, so I have no makeup on at the moment and we are going to be putting this guide to the test. So like I said, we are testing out the Peppy Co LED Light Therapy Mask first off. Um, it does say for this to have no makeup on, so hence why I've taken all my makeup off. Um, but we're just going to open up the box. It's really sleek, um, very simple packaging um, and it just slides the box off. So when you open up the box, this is what you see. So it has like a little silky drawstring bag which contains the mask inside. And then down here, you pull this out. It's got the user manual here. And then this is the USB port to obviously plug in the mask. So taking the mask out of the drawstring bag, this is what it looks like. I get like Star Wars vibes. Is anyone feeling a bit Stormtrooper-ish vibes from this? Um, but this is what it looks like here. So the idea is that you has these little like sunglasses type style set up and you put that over your face. And then this is what it looks like on. On the inside, it has the sunglass style like eye protection. And then obviously these are the sides which obviously make the mask like stay on. So hook on like sunglasses. And then these are all the little LED lights here. So they're scattered all around the face mask. And um, on the side here, you do also have the USB port, the USB port obviously, which plugs in the mask. On the side here, it has a little button and this is how you would change um, the light color. So if you wanted the blue, the red or the yellow, you would just press that button, scroll through to find the color that you are wanting to use for that treatment session. So looking at the instruction manual, um, there are, like I said, three different light settings that you can choose. You have the red light, which increases hydration from the inside out, promotes the production of collagen, encourages dermal repair, and helps prevent wrinkle formation, which sounds good. And then the blue light, which I've heard blue light is really great. So blue light helps to prevent and treat bacteria on the skin to help prevent um, like breakouts and things like that. So um, it helps to clear out the inside of the pores by eliminating P P acne bacteria, works to reduce breakouts and clear your complexion. And then the yellow light therapy is meant to promote repair in the skin and, and has a detoxifying effect. Bridges skin renewal and eliminates the appearance of sun damage. So that all sounds really great. Definitely all three of those lights I can see myself benefiting from. So you guys are aware, let's like just touch base about what my skin is like. I am 30 years old, so <laughs> I can definitely see myself using the red light to help promote collagen in my skin and prevent little wrinkles and things like that. I am starting to see fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes, my forehead, or in between my eyebrows. So it's definitely something that I'm becoming more aware and kind of concerned about. I also don't have the best skin. So I do suffer, my skin is like acne prone. When I say acne, there's a spectrum of acne. I'm definitely not on like the cystic, like really hard, you know, full on acne. I'm definitely more of that hormonal, dietary kind of acne. So if I eat certain foods or I eat really poorly, um, if I've been drinking or because I have really sensitive skin, if I've applied um, a skincare product, sunscreens can sometimes do it. I do sometimes get breakout, which is, you know, based on product application breakouts, like reactions and things like that. So I can definitely see myself wanting to try out the blue light, um, especially around when I'm having my period. I do get like hormonal kind of breakouts then. So I can totally see myself using the blue light. And then the yellow light, again, being 30, I am starting to notice some effects of the sun. Um, I do have a few dark spots which appear along the tops of my cheekbones here on either side. I'm definitely noticing some sun damage occurring, so I will definitely be taking advantage of that yellow light. So to use the mask, each kind of color has a 10 minute session. So you're meant to use this between two and three times a week. Um, you can use it up to 30 minutes. So if you want to do 10 minutes of the red, 10 minutes of the blue, and 10 minutes of the yellow, that's one treatment, but you wouldn't do like 
20 minutes of the yellow followed by 10 minutes of the red so it's only for 10 minutes for each of the color but you can do a full 30 minute session or if you're just wanting to do like a quick 10 minute you pick one color and you go for it and it's done so i guess you kind of just pick what your skin main concern is on that particular day or if you're using it the three times of the week do one color one day obviously then so on and so forth until the rest of your treatments are done so today I think I'm gonna use the blue light I do have a few kind of acne like little kind of breakouts here because I applied false tan so I'm fake tanned at the moment I applied it to my face and sometimes when I do apply um, my false tan to my face I do get a little bit of dryness and also reactive breakouts so I'm gonna open up the USB little pouch um, I mean, pretty simple. It's just a USB cord. I'm going to untangle that. It seems to be like it's quite a long cord. The downside with this mask is it's not something that you can like walk around the house with. The um, sun protective like sunglasses in it are completely blackout, so you actually can't see out this little slit here. So. I don't actually know why they've got that there but anyway you can't actually see outside of that anyway so you have to kind of sit down as well it obviously has a cord so it needs to be plugged in to you so you're just gonna have to take the 10 minutes or the 30 minutes if you choose just to chill out zone out and take that time and enjoy the treatment so I'm gonna plug the mask in right now so just using the little USB port here and I'm going to plug it in okay so I've just grabbed my like phone USB charger port and I'm going to plug that in Ooh, just flash and then I'm going to plug it in to the power so as soon as you turn it on it does light up so the side button is actually just like a touch screen it's not like a quickie button it's just touch so this is like the red light I don't know if you can see it on my skin here this is the red light then we've got the blue light and then the yellow light so it does say to not look directly into the LED lights. So obviously you don't want to damage your eyes. Like the instructions said, I've washed my face gently, patted dry. I don't have any other kind of skincare products on. So once you select a color, it will time for the 10 minutes. So you'll know when your 10 minutes is up um, and it will turn on. So like I said, we're going to use the blue light today. So I'm going to just plug it in. I'm going to zone it. I'm going to press over to the blue and we're going to put it on. So this is the mask on. I do have my eyes closed just so obviously my eyes are protected but the blackout like the blockout I feel like does ooh, I feel like the blockout does do a good job to kind of prevent the harshness of the light so I don't feel like I've got a light shining in my face one thing to note as well the LED the LEDs do emit a slight warmth to the face um just so you guys are aware so so I'm just going to chill out here and I'll see you back in 10 minutes okay so I'm not gonna lie I didn't sit here for 10 minutes I plugged out and went and laid down on my bed for 10 minutes and relaxed while the blue light did its thing so it's definitely not a mask that you're gonna see like instant results in straight away you meant to use the mask at least 10 times before they say that you might start to see visible results so I've got nine sessions to go I mean it's a super easy mask you could literally just before you're gonna go to bed lay down your bed for 10 minutes do the treatment it's so easy take the 10 minutes Get off social media, have a detox, listen to an audiobook, listen to some music, or just chill out, which is actually really nice just to take like that little 10 minutes to do nothing and zone and zen out. I did also want to have a chat to you guys about the Peppy Co. All-in-one sleep mask this is what it looks like here. It is all natural, enriched with powerful Aussie botanicals. This overnight mask revives tired skin while you're asleep. By the time your alarm goes off in the morning, you wake up with softer, smoother, and more supple complexion. So you're meant to use this on cleansed, dry skin, a pea-sized amount, massage until fully absorb, and then wash off in the morning. So it's an overnight sleepy mask. So I'm going to put this bad boy on. Like I said, my face is like cleaned. I'm going to, once I finish filming, go to bed anyway. So I'm going to put this mask on now. You go to bed, sleep overnight with the mask on, and give you an update on the mask. So we're going to apply this. So it's meant to smooth, balance, and hydrate, and protect. So I've got my little mirror here in front of me. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So basically it says a pea-sized amount and massage gently into the skin. It smells beautiful, like, not like chemically or anything like that. Anyway, so it comes out, oh, it's like pink. So this is what it looks like here. It's pink and it's got little like white bits in it as well. But that's what it looks like here. That's about a pea size amount. So I'm going to just, mm. oh, so it's a bit chunky. That's what the white bits are like chunky bits. So I'm going to just mix it in on my fingers and then we're going to apply. So that's what it looks like. It literally, it feels like just a really 
thick moisturizer. That's what it feels like. Doesn't feel like a typical mask or anything. It literally just feels like a really thick moisturizer or like sunscreen really. The smell is really beautiful. Not overpowering, just like subtle, but like floral and like spa-like, if that makes sense. Like the mask that they use when you go to a spa, that's what it feels like. So it's supposed to keep massaging into the skin until absorbed. Okay, so it's taking a little bit to absorb. Like, I mean, I guess that's how I would leave a moisture, like a heavy duty moisturizer anyway. Not fully absorbed, but like it's on my skin. Oh, I look so glowy. Gorgeous. Like I said, I'm going to be going to bed now anyway, so I will leave this on. I'll probably just chill out and watch some TV and then go to bed. So I will leave this on and I will check in with you in the morning. It feels super like soft and smooth at the moment. So I'm excited to see what my skin will look like tomorrow morning, but I will check in with you then. So I'm back for the check-in and it is definitely not the next day after the clip that you just watched. I completely forgot that I had to film the next portion of that. Woke up that next morning, washed my face, went about my day and completely forgot that I had to film that for you. So today was going to be my editing day so I'm just chilling at home. I put the mask on first thing this morning. Look, I know it's meant to be a night mask but I think it's more about the duration of leaving the mask on rather than you having to wear it actually at night versus in the day. So anyway, I put it on early this morning and I basically had it on for about seven or eight hours. So pretty much a night, like one night's worth of wear. But as you can see, my face is looking like a little bit glowy. It still looks glowy in the morning um, when you wake up with it on your skin. Your face isn't like completely matte. It still has a little bit of that dewy shine to it. So to remove, I would normally just do this in the sink, but I've got my Bijou um, like face like, like makeup removing cloth. I'm just gonna remove it for you on camera. So, the best thing about this mask is literally so easy to remove. Your skin afterwards just feels so, so soft. Like, it is, like, insane. It feels like you've put on, like, the most hydrating, like, serum that you've ever had in your life, basically. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I have been using it since filming that original portion. It's been about a week, and I've used it maybe twice. Or No, this would be my third time using it. So... I haven't noticed any kind of like adverse like effects of it. It hasn't broken me out or anything. The like first thing that you notice is just how like plump and like supple your skin feels. It's so smooth and soft. Like you have like no dry patches on your face like whatsoever. So if you have really dry skin, I think this would be a great pick for you. Even if you don't, like I have super oily skin, but it's dehydrated. So I really feel like it hydrates deep within moisturizers like my skin feels so good you don't get that weird like stripped feeling after you like take it off at all like your skin just feels like so hydrated i love it it's such a nice mask and once i've used it up i would definitely be uh, purchasing this one so again it's the all-in-one sleep mask i don't know if i mentioned it earlier but it's basically all natural no harmful chemicals eco-friendly vegan and cruelty free as well this whole package as well is recyclable so pretty good. Absolute tick of approval for this guy. I absolutely love it. Tick, tick, tick. 100% recommend you guys should try it out. I'm like obsessed with it. So good. Now, as far as the um, LED light mask go, look, I'm still only now about three sessions in. So I haven't noticed a whole lot of difference. I'm not expecting to. Like I said, this guy needs like 10 sessions before you're expected to see some like visible results. I'm not even like halfway through the sessions yet. So I'm going to be sticking with it. I don't know. I don't know if it's the mask. I don't know, but my breakouts haven't been as severe. I'm about a week out from my period now. And normally I would be starting to like see like lots of like hormonal acne around my like lower portion of my face. I'm not seeing any of that. So I don't know if it's the mask. I don't know. I don't want to be like, yes, it's 100% the mask because I, I don't know. I don't know for certain yet. I need to keep trying it. But I mean, that's a positive that I've noticed. I definitely am not like acne or breakout free. I definitely have a little bit of acne going on just along the tops of my cheekbones here. It's kind of normal kind of spot for me. It's basically because I need to change my eye mask. I know it's so gross, but I know when I start to get those, it's that my eye mask, like I wear a sleeping mask. 
my arm has to see get changed over so i'll be doing that tonight keen to keep testing it out i'll let you know in an updated like insta stories if you guys don't follow me it's just at miss ashley elizabeth you can follow me there and i'll keep you updated on the progress and the results of the mask there so make sure you check out my instagram but i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much again to peppy co for sending me out those products to review for you guys i really do appreciate it give this video a big like thumbs up if you found it helpful subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my new videos i hope you all have a fantastic rest of the week be kind to one another and i will see you all in my next video Mwah. bye guys Thank you.